Hello friends, this is Imran. In today's lesson, we are going to get the overview of uh, of the software Materialize Magics. We will know how it looks like, what are the tools there, and uh, what things we can do from Materialize Magics. So, uh, let's say if you are uh, familiar with 3D printing technology, additive manufacturing technology, and you know about the machines and you know about the 3D files which we used to uh, use in the 3D printing. So, uh, if you know, sometimes the file which we get or which we make uh, for 3D printing is actually not fixed. It is broken. It has some kind of damages which actually, uh, uh, sometimes it actually, it is not even visible in normal softwares but materialized magics and some other softwares like uh, solidworks netfab these uh, softwares are like actually help us to know like if there is any kind of issue which can uh, actually uh, collapse the model during printing and it can damage the model so if we know about uh, the model and it's anything like if if we know like the model is damaged we can fix it really really quickly through magics uh, I really like magics because like it has uh, it has so many options it is very friendly and it is very easy to use so I always prefer magics among other softwares because uh, uh, it is very friendly and it is very uh, it is it, it, it gives the the options which are like uh, more useful so let's say like in 3d printing sometimes when when we uh download any kind of file and then we can see like there are like some kind of issues just like here i can see i can give you the example of that like this model these are like the two models the other the on the right side this model is fixed but when i uploaded the model was actually broken and if i rotate it from bottom there is no surface it is kind of uh uh it is not close so it is not not printable and the yellow line shows like in these all areas it, it needs fixing so in in through materialized magics it it become easy for me to fix the file really quickly and then i can uh, export the file for the 3d printing i can change the format from stl to fbx any format uh, which uh, magics allows us and then uh, we can really use it for that but this is not not only the reason which uh, for which we use materialized magics but we sometimes use it for for the nesting of bats to may to to prepare the bat for our 3d printing machines such as such as uh, mgf machines such as sls machines such as uh, cjp machine we used to make uh, make and prepare bats for them and uh, we can do the nesting options which are like even better than the real of the, the than the real softwares uh, so this is the normal overview of like uh, how we are going to be use magics and in what ways we use magics and let's start with the uh, with the overall layout of this of this uh, magics so once we open the magics and then this this is this is how we actually find our screen like so in the top above section like or if i if i talk about the more the top bar overall bar so here uh, the top options there you will see like if i press the home home button i will go to the home screen and there i will i'll be seeing my recent projects which i have done or here from here i can upload a new load a new project i can open a new project i can import any kind of part i can open any uh, new uh, new file and uh, if you know about 3d printing you, you you probably know what is mesh part and what is brp brp part so these are just kind of some different and difference but uh, let's 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 not discuss about it we can discuss about it later and then uh, uh, there are like some options on the top that is like the, the same option we can save the project or we can also save the part only then there are like undo and redo option and then some settings option are there we we, are, we also have quick search option like if sometimes we forget or like we really want to search anything we can just simply click here write write it down and we can search about anything which we require any kind of tool which we 
are searching for and after that uh, below, below this uh, bar we can we can see there are like one two three four five six seven eight nine there are like nine sections home one home has some kind of tools then position which has some kind of tools then fixing editing structure texturing analyze report view and then the options and help all of these sections has some kind of uh, different tools so different functionality which we are going to learn in the other videos and uh, if you see in the right right side this section is actually contain the information about the part like just like here i uh, when i uploaded this part this so these parts are will be here if i select any kind of uh, part you can see the tick if both parts are selected you can see the tick and then if like let's say if there are like thousands of part you can easily scroll it down and check the part and then there are like some options about that like you can change the shade of the parts you can change the visibility the visibility of the part you can on hide unhide you can change the color you can uh, rename the part anything you like and below that there you can see the property like let's say right now i have select i i haven't selected anything so you can see like x y z orientation the dimensions are not uh we cannot we can we cannot at least see the the coordinates the exact position of the model but, but when i click it i can see the coordinate readings i can see the model dimension i can see the properties the volume surface any information it is it actually this area actually gives us the uh, the properties of the model and there are like some kind of uh, other tools like if i go into the set i want to check the check the model into sectional view i can simply go in any direction i can click i can check it and then so these options are always there then there is again of some kind of file fixing options are there which we are going to learn with uh, with, uh, with with different uh, videos and then if you notice in the bottom line there is a ruler and then which is uh, the unit will be visible here this the unit is here it is set in centimeter and then in the most top bar you can see there are like some kind of zoom options are there shading options like if i want to change it into other shading options like fire uh, wireframe shade and white transparency no shades not so these options are there and then there are like some other options which are like during file fixing like if i want to select any kind of surface and I, and I want to work on it so these surfaces these surface selection tools are there which uh, we, we, we which we will uh, learn in, uh, in in the other videos and there is like one more option that is like this cube which is actually giving us the right idea of like in which uh, which uh, view we are actually looking the model like let's say if I click on the front now I can see that the the model front uh, front view if I rotate it I can see the right view I can go to a top view so this cube actually help us to know like in which view we are watching our model so friends this was the end of the video and uh, we have learned about we have we have got the overview of the video like uh, what is magics and how we can use it and now we are going to move forward to the next video in which we are going to learn some tools and tricks which way which are going to help us in 3d 3d model and file fixing thank you